Well, hello everyone. Here for another video. Um, today it's one of, of one of my personal machines, one of my more prized possessions. Um, this is my 2008 or 9 Whirlpool Direct Drive, or otherwise known as my Tag Centennial at this time. Um, it's going to be doing a load of jeans, which is what it does for me just about every week. Um, I believe I have seven or eight pairs of jeans in there, and then two pairs of black shorts. All of it's very heavily soiled. Um, I'm going to add my soap, um, and I want to add a little bit of boxy thing to this. We're going to add about a quarter cup of OxyClean, just because it's a heavily soiled load. Um, now you notice some, oh, you can't quite see them, hang on, let me. You notice some extra switches here. Um, they all have a purpose, they're all custom. This one is a lid switch bypass, so this is on, this is off. Right now it would work just like a normal lid switch would. Um, if I turn it to on, it doesn't care if the lid is open or closed. This is, this middle switch is a finger faucet. Notice the timer is We'll push it in just to prove it. Um, anytime that's on, you can have water flow. Um, and the one on the right is a warm rinse feature. Um, really, it just makes everything warm because this machine has auto temperature control, and I hate that. Um, but we're going to be running it on warm. Warm wash, warm rinse, and this time it's actually warm. Unlike most of my videos, we're going to be running super wash. Um, I apologize if it sounds like I'm in a bit of a hurry. I kind of am, but I'm trying to get this filmed before I have to go for a little bit. I'm going to go pick up the Whirlpool Gold Catalyst today at 3. So, anyways, enjoy. I know the temperature dial is set to cold, but it is filling with warm water because that warm switch is on. I also have the auto temperature control sensor just unplugged because the machine will go to the default if you do that. So, anyway.
Also, really quickly, if you guys remember the video I made of the 1999 Whirlpool, you may have noticed it had an updated agitator. Um, this is the 1999's agitator, and it had this machine's original agitator in it. Excuse me. Um, I liked this one because it has the grooves at the bottom of each fin. I don't know if that helps or anything, but I swapped the two, that's why. This has the 99's agitator and that one had an updated agitator. I gave it the original softener dispenser though. The one that originally came in this one fell apart because it somehow like plastic welded itself to the agitator so I had to break it off. The machine washes jeans so often the agitator is actually staying blue on the water. <laughs> anyway, I'll be quiet. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you.
Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, luckily I did have just enough time to get this cycle in. Um, oh, I know what it's doing. This timer is a little weird. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'll catch you all in the next video. Might be another one of this. Might be another one of the Calypsos. Anyway, have a good day.